Damn. <laughs> Look, how's JD doing? Good. I think uh, I haven't um, got a final on it. See how BP goes, but uh, no pun intended. He may have dodged a. I don't want to use that word, but potential injury. We'll see. So far, so good. There wasn't a need for uh, for more imaging. He's improved. I think he's a contributor tonight. There were. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what may happen between now and, and then. I know the trainer came down and didn't quite get in. I don't know if that was about that or not. There were reports that Major League Baseball was having someone come out to talk to you guys today about all the hit by pitches. Has that meeting taken place? Is there anything that you know you can share? I guess about what what the conversation was. Yes and no. No, it, it was good. You know, more. I appreciate Morgan Stewart coming out. Uh, it was something we had set up last week. Um, I had that procedure and kind of got canceled, and then uh, he came out and brought Danny Otero with him too. Who, by the way, I think was a teammate of uh, Bassett. So uh, it went well. Quite a good give and take, and uh, appreciate them coming out. Um, and, you know, being on that those committees, sometimes you you understand how many things are really going on behind the scenes that don't don't get broadcast. You know. Hey, you ever thought about a pitch clock? Well, we've been working on it for three years, okay, and trying it out and looking at different things. So, you know, they, I think, you know, we all know that you know, some pitchers may have taken it too far one way, and well, it did. And now we're just kind of looking to see if we might have taken it too far the other way. My biggest thing is concern for the hit by pitch. I think we've had 15 pitches from the shoulder to the head against us since spring training started. Not five, not 10, not 12, but 15. And uh, I know, because we put them all on tape, so. You know, over in KBO, they have automatic ejection if you hit a guy in the head with a fastball. It's interesting. It's something that uh, you know, I'm sure people are looking at. Of course, you know, Pete got hit with a changeup that broke his helmet, so where's it stop? Let's uh, come over, Zach. Oh, would you would you be would you be in favor of of that rule? Uh, on the surface, I hadn't really thought it all the way through. Uh, my first blush is yes, but I'm I'd have to really think it through. Um, I think there's something that has to be a deterrent about that. I really believe, looking back at the 15, I don't think a single one was intentional. I really do. And that's what's been tough. There's nothing worse than having to go on the field or get involved in something when it's an unjust cause. That's that's really, you know, that's why hitters get ticked. You know, I, I thought Arenado, for instance, would be ticked at his pitcher. I don't know, you know, maybe because, you know, that's, that's the way it used to be. If you were up there and something was happening, you know, you would go, how did I get to this point? You know, but there's you know going out on the field. I've had some situations where we had to defend a teammate, so to speak, because he was a teammate, but it it wasn't a just cause. That's uncomfortable when something's happened like that. And you kind of take away from when you were today. You know, one takeaway you took one thing you took away from the meeting today. No, I, I thought it was a lot of give and take. You know, we had our pitchers in there and some position players, just so we got all aspects of it and. You know, Morgan presented uh, some things that they may not have known about, and they presented some things that he may. That's how you make good decisions. You listen to the people that are actually throwing the baseball and hitting the baseball, and you listen to the people that are doing all the work to you know, improve our game and try to keep it safe. So, you know, and get an entry perspective from Danny Otero. That's why Rajah Davis. You know, they have some people that are close to, not that far removed from it, and understand. But you know. Until you've been in the battery box, till you've been on the mound when it's 45 degrees and the wind's blowing, and it's a, it, it, there's some different, unless you've been in that box and been on that mound, it's a different gig. Keisha? Oh, I'm sorry, Tony, you're next. Next time. Didn't know you had the mic. Uh, I know Cano hasn't played in a few days. How much consideration, if any, did you give to either playing Dom in that spot or even dropping Cano in the lineup? Maybe putting uh, we did consider all those things, every lineup we do. Um, and then uh, just felt like uh, uh, where we wanted to go tonight, give us some really good options off the bench. 
the team that's playing real well right now. And um, uh, didn't want Robbie to get too far away from playing. Um, you know, we've been spreading it around to everybody. And I like the idea of some things that are created at the bottom of our order to turn our batting order over. And um, when guys are having success someplace, you need to be careful about moving them. Also, I think this is starting tonight, 15 straight against the analytics teams. What is that sort of stretch? What do you look forward from that kind of stretch play you about? You know, we, I think we're playing them like seven out of 10 or something like that. I, I'm sure that, I'm not gonna get any complaining about the schedule. I mean, it is what it is. You play, I'd like to say we face the same challenges in competition, but we don't. It's kind of who you draw in the league. I mean, I'm hoping next year we get a lot more integrity to the schedule where you know that other people are facing the same challenges you do. I've always been in favor of just everybody playing everybody the exact three at home, three on the road. You know, and let the fans see everybody come through here. And now at the end of the year, we've all faced the same competition instead of you, how you draw. And what you think you may have draw, drawn real to tough competition, at the end of the year you may look at it different. And you may think from last year's record someone's not, and all of a sudden they've jumped to a different level and you look at it differently. So nobody knows yet. But, you know, we keep the thing in our advance room. There's four teams we're trying to be better than. You know, certainly there's a lot of other teams, but we've got to figure out a way to be better than four teams. And Philadelphia is one of them. Keisha, go ahead. Just to follow up on your Gomez question, you said you like some guys in some spots because they have enjoyed success there. You, you're talking about McNeil, Randy McNeil. One Canada. of them. Canna, I believe, might be leading our league in hitting. I mean, our team in hitting. I don't know if he was. And then just how important has Drew Smith been for you, particularly as a high leverage option for you in the pen? Um, trying to kind of little by little work him in to without, he's making it tough not to take the the uh, governors off, so to speak. The, they put on horses, I don't want to say blinders or something else, but he, you know, I, I'm trying to, you know, we have a chance by the time we really get into the hot heavy of this to have a, Pretty reliable pitcher. So I'm trying to be, you know, careful about how we handle him, especially knowing some of this. Uh, I don't want to say injury, just some medical challenges he's had along the way. I'm trying not to get ahead of myself. Cause, you know, more is not always better, but he's 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 done well about everything we've given him. He's an athletic guy with good stuff. What's impressed you the most about him so far? Uh, one, he's really grasped the changeup. That's really come on and kind of put him to a new confidence in him. Um, I think he wants to be more than a, a right on right guy. He wants to be able to attack all hitters. And you know, you look at certain lanes of a batting order, so to speak. You know, he's a guy that can present himself against left and right hand hitters, and that's a very useful tool for a manager. Yes, ma'am. When you look at the Phillies and you see that they've hit the most batters out of any baseball team uh, in the league right now, do you go in? Concern about player safety? I don't. I don't know if concern. You know, if you can't play this game, that you know, or and it's. I don't think people. Some people lose sight of the courage. Sometimes it takes climbing in a batter's box where guys are throwing 95 to 100, and some of them don't completely know where it's going. In this age, that everybody chases velocity and not command, it seems like. I mean, they'd like to have some command, but it's not the end of the world to them. Um, and I understand we've seen. More fastballs, I think, than anybody in baseball. And we've seen more pitches on the inner half than anybody. So what's that tell you? That's how they're going to try to pitch us. So um, along with that comes some. But I just don't like the ones that are coming up at the head. And, you know, I don't think they're sitting somewhere going, hey, let's try to lead the league in that. And it'll help us win more games. I don't, I don't think the Phillies are doing it. Sometimes what's happening in three weeks of the season doesn't carry through the whole season. So it's not something that I'm going to go in advance meeting and go, hey guys, you know, and I'll bet you they already know that. I don't want to be Captain Obvious to our guys. They don't miss much. Jerry, in the back. So I'll kind of follow up on Zach's question. Uh, you, you sounded content with what you heard from that meeting today. Pardon? You sounded content with what you heard wouldn't go that far. It's not productive from your point of view. Yeah, I, th yeah, I, I can appreciate the, I don't want to say guts, but coming down here, you know, 
It's not, it's not easy, and that's why, you know, Morgan's good at what he does. Did you sense, if you had a chance to sense it from the players, if they were, felt likewise as you, were they also assessed every effort that was made? Did they feel any better today than they did Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday? That's a good question for them. I, 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 I got a pretty good idea what the answer is, but it's better than it was. You know, it's like anything. You just like the chance to hear your opinion or your voice heard. And you also have to have enough told them, an open mind to go, okay, that's a good point. I see where you're coming from too. That's where, you know, if we could get a little bit more of that politically. We all might, we're, we're all listening to each other instead of seeing who can out yell at, at the other. So you know, I think that it was a good back and forth without anybody. I didn't want anybody to think they were going to get, you know, picked on or bullied or, you know, they're, they're, respect for everybody's opinion and I found from being on that committee there's a lot of things going on you go wow I didn't know that okay good you are thinking about this and yeah you are working on it thank you everybody what did they, uh, they were they put out any suspensions what did they do what they give what did they give the first base coach one Clap. Clap got nothing really I'm glad you didn't ask me about that. Okie dokie.